team is live at the scene for the latest developments. And Heather, you were there earlier and have been following the situation again tonight. What's changed? Anything? Not a lot has changed, Doug and Renee. It's still a pretty active scene. SWAT team is still here, as well as police cars still blocking off South Park Road. The apartment complex still has crime team surrounding it. It's actually been a little bit more than eight hours. Police that were first here told me they responded around 1141. So that's nearly 12 hours that police have been out here, that people have been out here. One woman even told me after seeing all this, she is ready to move. Police believe there is one person who barricaded themselves inside one of the apartments at Falcon Crest. They told us no one else is inside. Shock. Shock. I'm ready to move. I don't feel safe in this community. You know, who knows that something like this will be going on where we live at. Delmarvia Mitchell says she lives next door to where they believe the person is still inside. She says the police asked her permission to put a hole in her wall so they could access the apartment, which is the focus of the SWAT team. Well, I don't feel safe in my neighborhood and I don't want to stay in this place tonight. And Somebody is going to find us a place to stay tonight because I'm not going to stay in an apartment with a hole in the wall. Because of the crime tape surrounding the South Park area, several buses were unable to get through. JCPS released a statement saying 11 students from Butler and Western were redirected to Southern High School. We had mothers crying trying to get to the bus to get their kids. We have, I have a neighbor that jumped out of the window because she could not get out. She jumped out of the window to go pick up her children from school. Several people still outside their homes waiting for this to be over. I don't really know what's going on, but I hope that everything ends up peacefully. We do not know how much longer this standoff is going to last, so make sure you stay with us on WHAS11.com for updates, as well as Good Morning Kentucky, Anna, at 4.30 this morning. If this does continue overnight, it could mean some traffic issues in the morning, so make sure you're staying with WHAS11. For now, reporting live, I'm Heather Fountaine, 11 at 11. All right, Heather.